So what happened was Mr. Trump went after the squad, uh, three African-American women and uh, and, and one Hispanic. Those woman. women are evil. <laughs> uh, but they have a right to be in the country. They're born. And the in the president country. has a right to say what he wanted to say about them. And if well, no well, women, have, listen, he didn't turn told, on them by being okay. honest about no, them. No, no, no. You see, now, now we're getting. You see, it's your show. So if you want to talk over me, you can. But if you want to hear my point of view, I'll share it with you. It's up to you. Oh, oh I want to know Mooch. as a man Level who's up. a Catholic, Level up, Mooch. married with children. I want to see your ultimate form. Oh wow! I also heard a rumor, by the way, everybody. Apparently, JLP battled the scare of Mooch. Please tell me it's true. Six abortions. Oh, my God, it's true. Oh, my God, saints be praised. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be the beta battle. I miss the Scaramooch. Scaramooch came in so hot. Came to the Trump administration for, what, a sum total of like three or four days? Maybe a week, I want to say. But it was one of the fastest shuffles. Got in there. Did all the cocaine. He's, he's actually got a cocaine, like, podcast or something. I, I, I don't know. Po, po-cane? I, I can't remember the name. But anyways, got in there. Did all the cocaine. Did all the things. Uh, and then disappeared uh, off into the night. I, I haven't heard a lot from the Scaramooch. But, but I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. 11 days. It was 11 days. Okay. All right. Well, there you go with me Anthony Scaramucci he is a financier political co- consultant and former White House director of communication and I want to talk to him about different things Anthony thanks so much for coming on I appreciate it oh yes well I mean Jesse you remember how we met right no remind me you were coming at me on Twitter so I sent you a direct message to invite <laughs> me on the show Oh yeah. yeah! Yeah, you were firing, you were firing missiles at me. I call you Beta, huh? <laughs> I can't remember what you called me. That's all right. I, you know, I never take any of this stuff that seriously. But yeah. and I looked, I looked into you and your life. I said, all right, this guy, has got some soulful mojo, and I invited myself on your show. You some soulful my mojo. So thank you. Yeah, my thank word. You. Thank you. For- were you watching the Austin Powers trilogy? Was was that? Were, were you watching perhaps some some old school SNL? Is, is that where you got the the soulful mojo to drop that that old line? Coming on, Daddy O. So I need to know more about you. I don't know you that well. I want to. Are you a Christian? Oh yeah. Well, I'm Roman Catholic. You know, I got I got raised Roman Catholic, and so I still. If, if you're asking me if my still a Christian or have I been secularized? No, I'm still a Christian. And what uh, does it I haven't mean? been to church in the last six months, uh, primarily from you know the COVID nineteen. But I do, I do go to church, and uh, my five children, uh, the older ones, have all been you know baptized and gone to communion and confirmation and and so forth. Right on. And what does it mean to you, Anthony, to be a Christian? What does that mean to you? Here we go. Well, well Catholic, which is the same I don't thing? Wanna, I don't want to. I don't want to oversimplify it. I think you either have to. First of all. You know, you can you can adopt Christian philosophy and not accept the resurrection, or you can accept the resurrection and, and adopt Christian mistake. philosophy. Oh, you're and taking those, the bait. In my opinion, are two very different things. You're going to get so the same question. I'm in the latter category where I accept the resurrection. And I it's, believe in the resurrection of Christ, and so therefore, uh, I think it's a little bit more fundamental and a little bit more ingrained in terms of uh, what I want to do with my life philosophically. Are you married? I am married. Yes. And are you the head of your wife? Am I what? The head of your wife. Well, I mean, am I her boss? Is that what you mean? No, are you the head of your wife? <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that means, Jess. So uh, when you say, am I the head of my wife? I'm not her boss. I mean, we have a great partnership. Uh, uh, but I mean, you know, we have a, huge, a lot of mutuality of respect. I mean, there's there's no political correctness in our relationship, if you mean that. You know, I think we probably have pretty much traditional roles in terms of our marriage. Well, Christian men, those who have been uh, a believer, truly believe in God, if they are married, they are the head of their wives as Christ is the head of them. And they lead their wives and children in the right way to go because women need men to lead them as men need Christ. Do you agree with that? Well, you know, I mean, I'm Catholic. So, I mean, that may be some, that may be evangelical Christian stuff. I never, I never, that, that's not in the teachings of um, the Catholic church. Oh, okay. So, uh, so a Catholic, being a Catholic, it's different than being a Christian. Well, no, I mean, again, they're both in the theology of Christ. Isn't isn't he a preacher? I mean, I and this is just, like it's just part of the he's just massaging them, getting them ready. But like, I, I thought he was a preacher. Christ, and if you remember the uh, the Catholic Church is the original the church. Reverend, I mean, okay, that was uh, founded by Saint Peter. 
who was the first pope. And then the sects of Christianity sort of splintered out. You know, they're, you know, the, uh, the evangelical Christian uh, community is a der- ultimately is a derivation of the Greek Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church. If you really study early Christian theology, uh, you know, you've got, the, you've got the early Christians in Egypt, and you've got the early Christians in Lebanon, and then you have the diaspora, uh, which led to um, the Roman Catholic Church being founded by uh, Emperor Constantine. Amazing. You took the, uh, at one time you worked for the president as his White House Director of Communication for about seven days or so. Why did you take that job? All right, well, well, Jess, it was 11 days. Don't shit me out of the last <laughs> I mean, Those are like meaningful to me, you know? Uh, I'm telling um, you, yeah, 11 why, days, sorry. Why yeah, there's, there's no follow-ups here. For your listeners he's to just, hear he's just taking what job. he's saying. Uh, this is a cautionary very tale different. on ego. I think when you get your ego involved in things, uh, you start to have misjudgment. Because remember, ego comes from self-centeredness and centrism. So egocentrism. And so, you know, I grew up in a blue-collar family. I built two very successful or reasonably successful businesses and I had worked for the president as a political fundraiser days. and as a media I think advocate that's the on his behalf it has to be. in 2016. So when he took the job, he's an unorthodox guy, as we both know, yeah. he offered me that job. But one of the principal reasons why I got the job, it was July of 2017. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of leaking going on in the White House. And in fairness to the president, that wasn't fair to him. He's trying to get the administration on good foundation, a good you know grounding, if you will. And so he brought me in and asked me to help him remove some people that were leaking on him. Of course, I made a very famous mistake. Uh, I trusted somebody uh, that I grew up with, and I said something off color, which was regrettable. And again, it was a fireable mistake. And so I got fired by General Kelly 11 Aww. days after I started. Uh, having said <laughs> that, I never blamed anybody for it other than my, myself. Right. You asked me why I took the job. Uh, that was born from egocentrism. That was born from, uh, had I had thought about it more rationally and less emotionally, I probably wouldn't have taken that job. It wasn't suited for my skill set, but the intoxication oh, no, and the no. seduction of oh, working in the white house the intoxication uh, and the seduction. Those rational All right. uh, thoughts so at the time that you took the job you didn't support what the president was about you didn't believe in conservatism and what the no, president no, no, was no. about I, no 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 that's not no no that's not you're asking me about why did i take that job and so I yeah i was suited to be the communications director you see right but did you believe in and support yes. what the president was no, about I'm a, I'm a life i'm a lifelong conservative uh, and by and large, I was supporting what the president was about, but there's a lot of things about him that are not Christian, and there's a lot of things about him that are not conservative. Oh, shit. And I think as you look at the scales Spill of that the now, uh, his personality and what he is doing is a subversion of a lot of those things. So, no, I no longer support him. Yeah, like, no shit, but uh, I'm guessing this is, like, that would break Jesse's world. Like, he couldn't sit there and listen to that. You know, he's like, you're, you're going to get called a child of the lie very quickly but i'm still a uh, conservative and i'm still a conservative republican but at the time you believed in what the president was about and what he was promoting right i did yes i did okay and so you you worked for the president and uh you are am i right in believing that you are a conservative republican i am mm-hmm. and what does that mean to be a conservative republican well, I mean, you were talking about the teachings of the church. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more of a libertarian uh, because I do believe in the separation of church of and state, uh, which is a foundational principle in the Constitution and is in the First Amendment for a reason. Uh, so I try to separate my religious uh, beliefs from the government uh, because I think we have to allow people in our country to have religious freedom and to express the religions in many different forms. There's obviously three very large religions, institutional religions, and there, there are others. And I think this has been a place, this 244 year experiment has been a place to allow for that individuality and freedom. And so I think that's a bedrock of conservatism. Uh, if you read Edmund Burke or J.S. Mill or John Locke, uh, the philosophers of the enlightenment to really distill what conservatism is to me, it is about the expression of individual liberty. And if you wanna tie it back to Jerusalem, because I do think it is threaded from the foundation stone uh, which is now the Dome of the Rock, and it threads through Athens up into Rome, out to Great Britain and France and into the United States. What is that conservatism? It is the Western liberal idea, not Six, liberal seven. from a political context, but liberal in terms of freedom. It is the Western liberal idea. Like for a certain point there, uh, he had me. I was like, oh, actually, this this that's a pretty cognizant, sentient way of describing classical liberalism. And he's, he's invoking John Locke. Interesting. Okay. And oh, wait, no, now he's making the spider web. Yep. Oh, and here, here comes the spider web. Yeah. Okay. Now we see it. 
of the individual being sacred and the individual being created equal uh, in the eyes of God. And so that, to me, is the bedrock of conservatism. Uh, General Kelly at the time, uh, he was the White House chief of staff at the time. He is now proven to be a rhino Republican. Are you surprised by that? Mm, I don't see him as a rhino Republican. You don't? don't Why not? Well, because uh, he he has spent 40 years of his life in the U.S. Marines. And since he was retired, one of the things that flag officers, particularly Marine flag officers, try to do is stay out of the politics. So uh, I see him more as an independent than I see him as a Republican or a Democrat. But he doesn't have any courage. He's not an honest man. He's not even a stand up. He is a rhino. He seemed to go along just to get along. And he doesn't seem to respect men. Uh, how, okay. how do you would, feel about that? All right. Well, I would disagree with that. And uh, obviously he, he fired me. And so our relationship started out rocky, but uh, I've got a close personal relationship with him today. Uh, 40 years in the U.S. Marine Corps. He's a four-star general. He's also a gold star family member. He lost his son, Robert, in Iraq. Unfortunately, he stepped on a landmine uh, and died instantly about 13 years ago. Uh, and I see General Kelly as an American patriot. And I see General Kelly as someone that believes in the U.S. Constitution and the foundational principles of the Constitution. Well, he's still I don't the right on though. He's still pathetic. Let me ask, uh, I know you're a male, but are you a man? I, I, I don't know how you're defining that, my man. I don't know how you define it. And how do you define man? What is a man? How do I define a man? Yes. Well, so five fives. I mean, listen, I mean, uh, I be- if you're if you're if you're saying to me, do I believe in the whole concept of androgyny and the no, spectrum? No, I'm asking. I'm just asking you, uh, Anthony. What is a man? I, I probably haven't thought about it as much as you have. But Why you know, not? to me, to me uh, there's a lot of different components to being a man. Uh, I think the stuff I take the most pride in is being a dad and being a provider to my family, and also uh, having a backbone and and uh, being somebody that uh, people can rely on. You know. Uh, so a man is someone that provide, uh, being someone that people can rely on. Am I right? Yeah. Should you be able to trust a man? Is a man trustworthy? Well, I don't think it's just men. I think women should be. Well, trustworthy. I'm asking about a man. Is a man no, trustworthy? Anthony, are you Where trying you to woke your way out of this? I'm you, getting there. Just, you just cannot me. woke your way out of this. I'm getting right. to know you. Okay. So there's I'm, there's I'm no woke over here. I don't assume here. anything. I never assume. So is a man trustworthy? You do, you do assume a little because you were coming at me pretty hard on Twitter. So you do assume a little. You know, you're, you're, and I get it because you got a following and you've got a certain philosophy and certain principles. But I think that the reason why I wanted to come on your show is that what we have to do is we have to break down the stereotypes that we have of each other and certainly what we see of each other on social media, what we may see of each right. other on television or even radio. And I think as we get to know each other better, what happens is you get a mutuality of potential cooperation long term. Right. You're absolutely right. Is a man trustworthy? Oh, should be. Yes, absolutely. Would a man ever turn on a friend? Let's say that you work for me. You and I agree. But something went wrong. We just agreed on something yep. and you left. Would you ever turn on me? Well, I, I, I believe in reciprocity. You know, I don't believe in asymmetrical relationships. I believe that relationships have to be symmetrical. So would I turn on you? No. But if you turned <laughs> on me, OK, you would you would definitely lose my support. Uh, you would definitely there's there's no asymmetry to loyalty there's no asymmetry to friendship. it's like a two five-year-olds are trying to figure out the prisoner's dilemma that's <laughs> basically what this uh, is it needs to be symmetrical are you a man that can be trusted oh yeah for sure and so now you're supporting the democratic party by supporting joe biden joe biden no, is I'm a four joe biden is a far left liberal radical he doesn't know if it's night or day it appears right. and he, uh, he's supporting your- abortion okay, he's support abortion he support, uh, uh, he support he support homosexuality, same sex no, marriage, no, no. See, and see, all that. Just... Let me just finish. Let me just finish. And you are now supporting that by supporting Joe Biden. Are you you? And it appears that you have turned on President Trump. You you uh, turned on the Great White Hope, right? And you turn on conservatism. <laughs> Could you be trusted now? Well, certainly. I oh, that was the gotcha. Yeah, because now now it all comes full circle. Didn't turn on anything, actually. What I'm more concerned about is the the country and the institutions of our democracy. And I'm more concerned about the, the, game has been the 244 year experiment that is America and the threat that President Trump represents to that democracy. And so that supersedes 
uh, political philosophy. That that's more of a, a systemic issue. But uh, uh, Trump turned on me first. I didn't turn on him. And that's why you turned on him because you believe he turned on you. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to attack my family members from the presidential Twitter feed. So what happened was Mr. Trump went after the squad, uh, three African American women and uh, and and one Hispanic. Those woman. women are evil. <laughs> uh, but they have a right to be in the country. They're born. And the, in the president country. has a right to say what he wants to say about them. And if no well, women, have, listen, he didn't turn told, on them by being okay. honest about no, them. No, no, no. You see, now, now we're getting. You see, it's your show. So if you want to talk over me, you can. But if you want to hear my point of view, I'll share it with you. It's up to you. Oh, oh I want to know Mooch. as a man Level who's up. a Catholic, Level up, and married with children. I want to see your ultimate form. Can you be trusted now that you have gone gotten on board with Joe Biden and the Democrats? Can sure, you be trusted? Absolutely. Can the president be trusted? He's told 22,000 lies since he got the office. Can the president be trusted? He's taking mail sorting machines out of the U.S. Post Office to try to contrive the election. Can the president? How be many trusted? lies have you told since turning on the president? How many lies have I told? Yes. I I'm not telling any lies, bro. How many know. lies have Joe Biden told? Look at, look, at, since... look at my face, my man. I'm, I'm 56 years old. I don't need to tell any lies. How I many lies have Joe Biden punch, told bro? since running for president? Come on, bro. Uh, less than Trump. How many has he told? I have no idea. He's a politician. So, so why is it that you know how many the great white hope have told, but not you don't know how many Joe Biden have great, told? He's not the great white hope, man. He's a very <laughs> dangerous guy. No, but he, I'm asking you, you, you know how many. JLP has this, like, I don't know, magic about him. I don't know if anyone else has this. He can actually make the most horrible people seem less horrible. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, whoa, what is going on here? You know, that's, quote, that's unquote, how many of the president have told. It's not the great white hope. You don't, you don't go after the institutions of the country. He swore an oath. You want to talk about a disavowal? I know, but you didn't answer my hand. question. Why is it that you don't know how many lies Joe Biden have told, but you know how many lies the great white hope have told? Why don't you know how many lies Joe Biden told? Well, I'm probably paying closer attention to President Trump. But you should pay close attention to Joe Biden since you're supporting but him now. You're, but you're, but you're, you're missing something that I think is very, very important in the conversation. You, you, the, the, the first test as a patriot is, do you believe in the constitutional system and the diffusion of power and the separation of powers that have made us all free, that have allowed me to live the American dream the same way you have? Do you believe in that, True. yes or no? If you believe in that, then you can't impart your religious views on others. Your religious views are your views and the views of your family. Uh, if, you don't believe, if, you don't, if you don't believe in that, then that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion under the process of freedom of speech. My concern but, is greater than that, uh, uh, Anthony. That? My concern is greater than that because what I've noticed is that uh, people such as yourself, they pretend to be conservative Republicans, and when things don't go their way, they jump ship, they become rhinos, and they support the Democrats. We need a government that works for the people and not against yeah, them. And I can understand that maybe you disagree. We got to get rid of President Trump. I can understand that maybe you disagree with the president, but I don't understand what type of person would go out and support. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I don't understand what type of person would go. Hold on one minute. Hold on, Anthony. I I can't trust a man that would. I understand you disagree with the president. You got fired. You disagree. But you went from pretending to be a a Republican to so uh, totally supporting a far left liberal radical party like the democratic party I, it says a lot about your character and i don't know how you hold your head up knowing that we can see another on both sides of you now how do you live with yourself like that i live with myself just fine how do you live with yourself supporting that guy man you, you that's a dangerous guy he's he's destroyed your economy but you pretended to support him at one time were you pretending no 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 my my support as your support should be as a citizen and a voter should be conditional upon performance he doesn't have unconditional support from me. He's not my family member. He's not my wife. He's not my brother. He, he was hired to do a job. Keep America safe. Make America richer. Spread out the wealth in America. Strengthen our alliances around the world. Oh, Biden's America not weaker. Left, but it's just like, they like sicker. painting him as the reincarnation poor. of Karl Marx. But you're, going after the, you're not just going after the president. You're trying to help support bullied, destroying the whole country. Bullied. He blew, bullies his private citizens from the presidential Twitter feed. Uh, Anthony, 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 because of time, those are, gonna, we, we, we because of time those are talking points. Because of time, those are talking points. I want to ask you. Those are not talking points. Those are talking those points. Are Joe Biden blamed <laughs> the president facts. for all the 
uh, the terrorist attack upon America by the far left liberal radical. Thousand percent is false. Let me let me let me. Thousand percent the president's hold fault. Hold on, hold on, of his, of his hold on. Hold on, hey, Anthony. I haven't asked a question yet. The economy. Anthony, I haven't asked a question. No, but it's the president's Far fault. left liberal radical Black Lives Matter is a radical organization that was founded by fat black radical lesbians, and antifa radical white people. Uh, Joe Biden and the Democrats are allowing these. <laughs> all right, all the all the woke points are going to dissipate immediately, Mooch. If you just sit and nod to that, if you're just like, okay, well, that, yeah, no, no, that that that, that checks out. Yeah, that, no, no, that that makes perfect sense. I understand that part. Things are happening in the city. They're doing nothing yeah. to stop the violence, you, and they blame you, it you, on President actually, Trump. Actually, do you agree with that? I do, do you, disagree with that. Yes. You disagree with Joe Biden? No, I disagree with what you're saying. What am I saying that you disagree with? Well, uh, the the Black Lives Matter movement is not as radicalized as you're professing. Joe <laughs> Biden is not as radicalized as you're professing. And the racial tension in the country has been exacerbated by President Trump, not made better. And the fact that he mishandled the economy. There has never been a greater example of the one truth, the one truth that we've always known. Blew up the economy. Uh, and during the Obama administration, you had 4.7% unemployment when Obama left, and you've got 10.2% unemployment. And you talk about conservatism. You, you, you're not money. an honest man. That's why I call you a beta. I call you a beta male because you're right on now, oh, and I'm disappointed. All right. All right. Well, let me let me tell you. So I appreciate you bringing me on. Uh, and what happens in our society today is because we're not going to we're not going to stipulate what the facts are. We're going to argue about the facts. So therefore, you can't even have a fair and honest debate. But, but you are blaming the far left liberal and I, radical. I, I guy, I'll tell you why I respect you, though, because you were coming after me on Twitter, which is your right to do. I'm a public figure. And, and I messaged you to ask you to have me on your show. And you accepted that. So I respect you for that. What we're going to disagree. And here's what we should do. Hi, Let's, make a, let's make a deal together. OK. All right. Why don't we do this again after the election? That'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you agree with me that one of the best things that the Democrats have done to assure that President Trump is reelected is about is by is uh, allowing the uh, violence in their cities and states that they control, that they are causing more people to vote for President Trump. Than yeah, this was probably a, would a have surprising for win for okay, the so, mooch. So you're going to you're, you're, believe it or not, you and I are going to actually agree on that. I think that the way they're handling the riots, which to me, they do seem organized and they seem somewhat planned, which should scare everybody. But the way the riots oh, are being handled and the way the uh, left, whether it's Bill de Blasio or others, have handled these great cities has been a systemic failure. So you and I are going to agree on that, actually. We do, agree on that. Do black lives matter? Do black lives matter? Of course, black lives matter. And what does that mean, black lives matter? Well, I, I don't know what it means to the organization known as Black Lives Matter, but I know what it means to me. <laughs> What's that? Uh, what does it mean? That there's a sacredness to life. And that if our if we have racial tension, that's the violence. There's America, no way of ever finding that, that out. Whether there's, it's there's no way of or learning feelings that. based, it really doesn't matter. I, I have no if idea. What a large group of people, particularly it. the African American, I know what it means to me. Or the black community that feel threatened by police officers in a different way than white people feel threatened by police officers. We have to address it. We have to heal that, and we have to make it better. If so black blue, people blue lives matter to me, yeah, black lives true. matter to me, Scare white lives matter has, to me. Has moved all lives more matter. Towards the center. All lives matter to me. Absolutely. So life, let me life ask. Is sacred on our planet, but but if you're asking me, do we have racial tension in our country? Yes, we do. I grew up in an area where there were blacks and whites. We had a lot of racial tension. Should we have had it? No. Am I older and more mature now? Absolutely. Would I like to see it better for all people? I would. Would I like you and me to be judged by the content? Of uh, our character and not the color of our yep. skin? The, Absolutely. The one so let me ask, if black people were to get married, fathers and mothers set a good example for their children, mm -hmm. would black people be better off or worse off? I don't I don't know the individual say if you're if you're saying is it better for children to be in nuclear families? Oh no, versus it's gonna trap families? you. It's gonna uh, trap you in the uh, race. In realism. some cases, I believe that that's the case. In some other cases, if a woman is married to somebody violent. No, but I'm going to ask you a simple question. If black people got married and fathers and mothers set a good example for the children, raised them, be a good example, taught them to work, be responsible, to treat all people the way they would like to be treated, would black people be better off today or worse off? Yeah. Again, I think you're making an overly generalized statement. No, so I just would like a yes an or no to the question. An overly generalized answer would be yes. 
So why aren't you people pushing that rather than all of this fake ideal about racism, police brutality, <laughs> slaverism, and all that? Why aren't you pushing, slaverism. hey, you black people, you need to go back to family? Because when I grew up on a plantation, as you know, I guess. I grew up under the Jim Crow laws. And I was born on a plantation. We ra- we uh, worked the plantation. I remember for uh, blacks only science and all that. But because black people got married, they were taught, they worked hard, they bought land, they treated all people the way they would like to be treated. They didn't blame other people. They didn't blame the white folks and all that. Black people were doing very well. It didn't change until the fake civil rights movement started, which should have never happened. That's when blacks gave their lives over to the so-called black leaders and the government. And it's just been downhill since then. Why would you people promote a family wow. rather than all these other false wow. excuses? Don't don't overgeneralize, Jesse. You can't <laughs> say you people because it's not me. I, I... I and also, like, um, I don't know a lot of people who are pro Jim Crow. I, like, you don't often hear that. Like, let's bring back Jim Crow. The whole, like, two lines just mean shorter drinking fountains for everyone through. Outside of maybe, like, the white nationalists. I don't know. I don't hear you promoting family for the black people. Well, I, it's not just for the black people. I, I promote family for all people. But I don't hear, ever hear you promoting for the black. You're blaming President Trump for something he has nothing. Black people have been but tripping for 70 President years Trump. now. And you're when saying President that Trump puts out a tweet that he wants to knock out lower income housing. I do in too. The suburbs. I'm sorry. Would you rather for black people to live in low income houses or work hard by their own home and live like normal people? Who would you prefer? Uh, well, I would like everybody to live. How in about the blacks? Housing. How about the blacks? But, but, but again, it's all people. But you, what you're missing. How about the blacks? Though? I'm asking about the blacks. My family didn't start with any money. I man. know that. Yeah, but I'm at, money, so, the black but, can but, do the but, same. But, but, but I got buddies of mine that were in lower income housing in the neighborhood I grew up in that went on to live the American dream. So why don't you recommend that to Black matter. Lives Matter rather than this fake idea about racism and police, police brutality? It's not real. Do you agree with so me that there's no, there's no, there's no does not look fear happy. <laughs> for African Americans not enjoying this interview <laughs> when they are interacting with the police? Absolutely no. Okay. Absolutely right. no. Right. Well, are, yeah, you that's that's Biden, are you surprised that Joe Biden? Are you surprised? This is a lie. Black people are not afraid of cops. They're lying to you. And if you notice, Anthony, the people who are getting hurt or affected by cops, which is minor. They are overreacting. Yeah, they're this not is following right on the right instructions of the right officers, now. and they're all thugs and criminals. Decent black people are not being affected by cops. Have you noticed that? Well, Doc Rivers, whose father was a cop, uh, says that he has to have a conversation with his children related to the potentiality of them uh, being stopped by police officers. But you're not so, answering my question. I, I ask, have you I, noticed I, that I, decent I don't black know people? The answer. Because, Jesse, I don't know the answer to your question, okay? I'm telling you, my observation is some of what you're saying is true, and some of what you're saying is not true, because... What have I said that's not true? Well, you said that good people, or, you know... Decent blacks, decent blacks. ...are are not affected by the interaction with police. That's why the decent black want cops in the community. Okay, but Doc Rivers is an example of that. He gave a speech last week. What do you I, say about the with, thugs who, who hate cops, but the decent black people, Black Lives Matter, the radical far left, fat black, lesbians, they want to defund cops, right? But decent black people want cops in the community. I'm happy to close so the if testing. decent yeah, black people want cops, who do you support? The decent blacks or the far left liberal radical well, like Black I, Lives Matter? I, I support decency around the board. It doesn't so do you want to uh, defund the cops? Do I want to know? Joe Biden doesn't want to defund the cops. cops. Well, why hasn't he denounced that? Of course he has. When? He, he said it again. It's in the platform of the Democratic Party. You be- No, no, no. Clyburn said it. Joe oh. Biden said it. None of these guys wanted to fund the cops. Let me ask you this. The no, Democratic you Party voted. Fracking? Trump says that Biden's against fracking. Joe Biden's out there yesterday saying he's for fracking. Anthony, the Democratic Party, uh, you know, that, that guy, Doc Rivers, I kind of remember who he is. He's a weak guy. He's evil. I wouldn't follow him. Don't listen to him, Anthony. He's a he's a beta male. But let me don't, ask you. Don't be demonizing people. My no, man. he's a he's a beta male. Let me don't ask. You. Don't be demonizing. No, people. I'm calling it out as it is. He's evil. No, you do a little bit of demonization there. Don't. No, do that. he's all, evil. All, That's all the guy that cried on the right. camera, right? We're all human beings. Don't be demonizing. Isn't he the guy that from the NBA that cried on camera? Yeah, you cannot. He's a beta male. One what? last what? quick question: The I Democratic gotta, Party, the, the Democratic Party voted in the last election to get rid of God as a platform, as a part of their platform with the Democratic Party. They voted that at their convention. Do not you support true. that? I don't support that. And what you said is not true. It and is they, true. They said the Pledge of Allegiance all four nights under God. 
all four nights. The there's actual videotape. They want so, to get rid of under God and the pledge of allegiance. Do you support that? They, they said the pledge of allegiance. Eddie, you're not an honest I, man. All four nights. Your, your wife don't like honest men. Just honest men. Yeah, I'm not being dishonest. So all that's factual. So you got to be careful when you file Trump because he's telling so many lies and he says them so many times over and over again. You can start to believe. I can't lies. trust you. You turn on a friend. Even no, if you don't disagree, no, even no, if you no, disagree no. with him, he, I wouldn't go me. out. I wouldn't go out and put. Hey, hey, Jess, you don't go after my family members on the presidential Twitter feed. But I wouldn't go out and put down the man that gave me a job either. Jesse, do I look like Ted Cruz to you? No, that's what you know. You don't go after my family members on the presidential Twitter feed without having a fight with me. But you turn on your boss. I didn't turn on him. A real man would not go out and turn. He would have appreciation for the job. But he wouldn't turn on. Never go after my wife on the presidential Twitter feed, man. Prediction. Now, will the president be re Will the great white hope be reelected or no? He's going to get annihilated. No, he's going to be reelected. I'm going to have you back. You're going to invite me back after he loses so badly. And then we'll have the aftermath conversation of why he lost so badly. We'll have you back. Thank you so much, Anthony, for coming on. Jesse, good to be here. I appreciate you bringing me on, though. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, buddy. Well, okay. Bye. He did not look happy for the second half of that. I feel like this is a man depressed and upset. Oh no. Oh no. To our God, I'm Ra. We pray at your altar of awesomeness. To our monarch, Thomas Bone, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, Jeffrey Lamb, Steven, Nine Dales Cosmic Fox, Hans Josephin, and Poppy Nelson. We bow meekly for your pleasure. To our Knights of the Round Table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Bythe, Alexander Thaler, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Clement Chutska, Guy Bear Game, Moss Beast, Political Puppy, Ali Menthol, Jimmy Big Nuts, Alan R., Andreas Chitoro, Good Food Hates Cops, That Solid Food Man, and Bryn, we salute you. And to our many merchants and farmers, you have our undying love 